Hello, I'm making this video to show you guys how to make LLBs. For this video, I'll only be showing how to set up and format a page. I'll make a tutorial for drawing in the Wimpy Kid style later on. So, yeah, just wait for that video unless you already have your own drawing style that you'd like to use. So, let's start this tutorial. So, for the first half of the video, I'll just be showing how to install Adobe Illustrator and the other resources. If you already have all the resources that you need or you already have Illustrator, then you just skip to the timestamp that I set up on the video. So this is specific to computers with uh, Windows 10 running Adobe Illustrator. So as you can see on the Adobe site, Illustrator is pretty expensive, 21 US dollars a month. If you don't already have a subscription or you have it included with the school or work program, I've included file to download it for free, which I'll show you right now. I put a Google Drive link in the description of this video. It should take you to this link. LLB template files, which has these files in it. And like I said, if you already have Illustrator, which can be included with your school or something like that, you're, you only need to download the fonts folder, the Illustrator templates folder, and that's it. Just these two folders right here. But if you still need to download Illustrator, so I just want to download the entire uh, folder. You just right click this button and then press download and then it will start to download. I already have this downloaded, so I don't need to download it. It's going to take a while because it's about two gigabytes of size because Adobe Illustrator is a pretty big file and then you'll have to install it afterwards as well. So make sure you have a few gigabytes saved up on your computer the space. Once you download that, it should give you this folder, LLB template files, and open that. And it'll have these four items in it. This is the fonts folder. It just has all the Wimpy Kid fonts, which I will you'll want to do first thing. You want to open each of these, press install. I already have it installed, but yeah, it should they should install real quick, and then they'll be added as fonts to your computer. The most important ones are this Wimpy Kid Dialog and Wimpy Kid Cured, the one that, these are just the two that I use in my template, which I will show you in a minute. And then, okay, so now I'll show you how to download Illustrator. So this RAR file, since it's a RAR file and you're on a Windows computer, it, you can't open it regularly. So what you want to do is download 7-zip which you can do at 7zip.org. It's just a really small download. It's 1.2 megabytes, really small. And you download this, it'll download an installer, which I already have, which is right here. And then you want to open that. It should be called 7z1900x64 or whichever version you downloaded, be a 32-bit or 64. And then pick a destination folder your default should just be computer program file 7-zip and you'll install it that installs real quick and then you should be able to find it under this pc you'll have your windows c drive program files 7-zip folder should be made and then yeah this has all the files you need this 7z fm so to open up this rar file here you'll want to right click open with 7z file manager. If it's not already right there, you'll want to go to look for another app on this PC, go to your C drive, then program files, and then 7zip right there. And then you'll want to open it with 7z FM, so which is 7zip file manager. And then it'll ask you for a password, which is just one, two, three. So now it's open in 7zip, you'll have these folders right here so don't double click on that go in the folder just select it so it's highlighted in blue and then you press extract and then it's just going to extract to this folder see it just made a new folder in my template files folder because that's the one i selected and then after that's done all right now that that's done you can close out 7-zip, you don't really have to use it ever again. Then you'll have this 
it'll be illustrated file if you want to go to setup just double open up the setup and then it will ask for yeah it will ask for to make changes on your computer you just press yes so you will be able to install adobe i already have it installed you'll it's pretty self-explanatory you choose a folder that you'd want to leave it in you just keep pressing continue continue download and yeah it's pretty simple after that it'll take a minute to download because it's about one and a half gigs it might take up up to two gigabytes or maybe even three and then once you have that downloaded what i like to do is i have an adobe illustrator right here i just made a shortcut which it's in my c drive program files adobe illustrator 2021 and then there's a shortcut right here. You can make another shortcut and drag it out to your desktop. Or another way to access it is just to open an Adobe file like the one I included in this template, which I'm about to show you right now. But first, before you open Adobe, in, well, this file specifically, you want to download each of the fonts. Make sure you have WimpyKid Dialog and WimpyKid Cure installed. These are the two the only two that i use in the template and it might break some things if you don't have it installed already all right one thing i realized while making this video is that i needed to include this photo file which is included in the page template which is required other than this photo file you just need those other two fonts and you should be able to open this up it should work correctly if it asks you to if you need to replace the image, then um, I'll show like a little image that shows what the window looks like. It'll say replace. You just click replace and then you go to where this file is, the HVWL. It's just the drawing lines, which you can see down here, just the blue lines. You just select that as the image to replace and then it should look the same as this. All right, so now that you have this file open, up here is the main text box. I size it to fit the beginning of the first book. This is like the first sentence and a half of the first book. Let me get this straight. This is a journal, not a diary. So yeah, it should be correct font size and spacing. You can use a different font size if you want to, you know, write more, fit more onto a page. It doesn't really matter that much, but just to make it look exactly how the book is, I've made this font. This text box here, which you can edit freely. You want to double click to it. Go into text mode and then you can type however much you want just it should all work correctly and then when you go down the line it should stay on the lines for as long as you want <laughs> and if you want to write more past this box you want to make the box bigger because if if you make the box too small for the text it's just going to cut off the text and this little red box indicates that there's more text outside of the box so yeah, you want to make sure you make the box big enough, which you'll do by selecting the selection tool and then just clicking on it and you just drag this down. And that should increase it correctly. And then you can write as much as you want and it should stay on the lines. As you can see, so it looks nice clean just like the book all right okay and if you want to change the font size you just select a big chunk of font by double clicking and dragging and it's down here in the character on the properties window you just shrink it down and it should stay on the lines a little bit yeah it should because the spacing is 39 point it should always be on the lines if you make it off this text box if you want to make a completely separate paragraph you want to get out your selection tool and just grab the box you want to hold down alt alt key alt key makes a copy and then as well as shift which will keep it lined so shift keeps it lined up so you don't drag it all 
over the place. Just snaps it to a 45 degree angle. And then holding down Alt also makes a copy. So this is just for if you want to like have a picture between paragraphs. So you'll hold down Alt and Shift and you want to lift up your mouse, your mouse click before you let go of Shift and Alt. So there it is. You want to make sure these this blue line is about on the line. It doesn't matter that much. Just make it look good enough. And then you could have a picture right here. Your characters talking or whatever. Anything else that you'd want to draw. I'm going to show how to make drawings in a different video. So yeah, there's that. And then down here, there's also the page numbers in which each go in the corner. The books don't usually have a first page, a, a number on the first page. So two starts on the left and three is on the right. Odd numbers are on the right, even numbers are on the left. So you could just change these, double click them. You delete one that you don't need. And then hold down Alt and scroll to zoom in. Change this to five if you want it to be page five. And then on the Slayers tab, you just, I just like to lock it. So when a layer is locked, then you won't be able to edit it. So like this five will stay here forever. Just like the lines. If I unlock the lines, then I'll be able to move it. And it causes accidents sometimes when you accidentally drag stuff. So yeah, there's that. And then, oh yeah, I like to separate the lines on the pictures on their own layer as well, which you can do here. So I'll delete that and then recopy it into the pictures tab. So then you could lock the text and now the text won't be edited. If you don't have this layers window, then you could just go to windows and then there's an option for layers. So yeah, I can get rid of that and it's gone. If you want it back, then there's the layers. And if it's like separated like this, then you'll just drag it right there or wherever you want to put it. It doesn't matter. You can put it on this side if you want. Just attach it right there. But yeah, that's not how I like to do it. I like to leave plenty of space for my artboard. Same thing goes for properties tab and the stroke tab, which will be important for drawing. You don't really need that for this specific tutorial. If you use another uh, software to make your drawings or anything like that. But yeah, there's that. And then something else that you should probably know is that this journal text, when a word is in all caps, you'll want to change the font. So right here you see Wimpy Kid Dialog, Wimpy Kid Cured Medium, the Wimpy Kid Dialog is a different font which you'll use for all caps words because if you write journal in all caps it looks kind of funny like the rna looks especially weird so yeah you want to make sure that you change the font for that it's wimpy kid dialogue and the wimpy kid dialogue is always all caps there is no lowercase for the dialogue So yeah, that should be pretty much all you need to know. You'll just want to make sure that the text boxes are lined up. Hold down Alt and Shift to make a copy and drag them however you want. Hold down Shift to make sure they're lined up on the axis correctly. And then what I like to do personally, you can, it doesn't really matter for you, but I like to have my pictures on a separate line on a separate layer of the document or you could draw more you could draw dialogue and if you want to make your own a new text box the dialogue is usually the same size as the like same size font as the rest of the text so you'll want to just delete this whole thing and change it to Wimpy Kid Dialogue There. And then 
Say this character says poopy. Shrink the text box a little. And then move it there. Now there's a character saying poopy. And just things like that. So you could write in the, you know, yeah, you could also write your own stuff. So say Reagan Rally. Uh, said a funny joke today. And I said poopy. And then there's the drawing of him saying poopy. Funny, funny joke. Yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know for this page setup. I don't have good drawings here. I will show you how to make good drawings in the next video, but, and that's how to set up a page for an LLB. You, can, you don't have to use Illustrator to draw these pictures like I just poorly did here with these stick figures. And you might use another application like Inkscape, Alpaca, or Fire Alpaca. There's a lot of different tools that artists use for their pictures. But yeah, that's all you need to know for this. Here's the page setup with the right text and show you how to do all caps and how to make dialogue text bubbles. That's all. Now the last thing I need to show you is how to export and save it as an image. So what you do, it's pretty simple, you just go to File, go to Export, Export As, and then you want to do a JPEG, PNG also works, but I like to use JPEG, and then stop, just do Page, Export, and then I'll bring up this window, you'll want to do it. CMYK. These ones don't really matter because it's just black, white, and blue. Uh, you always use them unless you have a colored pictures. You want it to have a high resolution to get the highest quality. And yeah, you want the quality to be 10 just so it's like not very pixelated at all. You'll get the highest quality of the image and it will look really good. And then, you know, so you export that and then it'll show up. Now you have your page and that's all.